The United Kingdom Ministry of Defence has begun to explore options for a future strategic sealift capability to begin operation in 2025. The United Kingdom Ministry of Defence issued a request for information for an interim strategic sealift capability, the existing sealift contract from the Ministry of Defence for fallen shipping to provide four-point class roll-on roll-off vessels, lasting a minimum of five years and to an updated user requirement. This interim capability would succeed the Ministry of Defence existing sealift contract which expires on 31 December 2024. A high-level timeline released by the Ministry of Defence in its request for information states that informal industry engagement could begin in early 2022, with formal engagement beginning in the middle of the same year. Strategic Sealift provides the Ministry of Defence with a capability to deploy cargo overseas from the United Kingdom in support of both standing commitments and contingent operations. The United Kingdom current roll-on roll-off strategic maritime capacity, vested in the four Flensburger roll-on roll-off 2700 Sealift ships MV Anvil Point, MV Heartland Point, MV Hurst Point, and MV Eddiston, is provided by fallen shipping under the terms of a 25-year private finance initiative arrangement running to the end of December 2024. The request for information for a projected strategic sealift interim solution seeks responses from interested parties relating to ship characteristics, classification, capacities, and crew requirements. It also requests information on any previous long-term charter or contract arrangements and the ability to provide surge capacity at short notice when required. Formal industry engagement for the interim strategic sealift capability is expected to start in mid-2022. Full operational capability under the new contract is planned for January 2025. Sealift ships give an improved strategic sealift capability to support the Joint Rapid Reaction Forces. Operational experience has demonstrated the difficulties in obtaining suitable ships to move military equipment in the short timescales demanded by the Joint Rapid Reaction Forces and for the armed forces needs in operations worldwide. It will play a key role in fulfilling the armed forces equipment lift requirements in a wide range of operations, including those involving the deployment of the Joint Rapid Reaction Forces.